What is up guys, Photo Fever here and welcome back to another Tuesday Two Minute Tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can add a pattern texture to clothing using Photoshop adjustment layers. And I'm going to start right now. Right guys, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and choose a photo, but also choose a pattern. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down and open up Photoshop, and as you can see, this is the background photo. And then if I go to my desktop, you can also see I've got this really nice kind of pink rose pattern. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply that pink rose pattern onto the white dress you can see in the photo. So what I'm gonna do, firstly, what I'm gonna do is drag and drop this layer onto the dress and make it as large as you like. So I'm gonna go for this covering the entire dress. But as you can see, we can't see the dress anymore. So what we need to do is actually create a selection and cut out the dress and apply that selection onto the pattern. As you can see, I've already created a path layer and that's what I recommend doing first, is firstly creating a selection of the area that you'd like to cut out. And if you'd like to learn how to create perfect cutout, make sure to go to the link you can see here, and that is my video on how to create perfect cutouts. So once you've done that, all you need to do is now actually create a selection. So what I'm gonna do is press Command or Command on my keyboard and then click on that area. And as you can see, we have now created a selection. So all you need to do now is apply a layer mask to the pattern layer. So make sure we've got that pattern layer selected, and then we're gonna go down and select a layer mask. And as you can see, that has now cut out and applied it onto the dress. But the problem is it looks incredibly flat and it doesn't look like it's actually applied to the dress. So all you will need to do is simply change the blending mode. And because this is a white background, I'm going to apply it using the screen mode multiply. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to our blending mode options here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and drop down to multiply. And you can try a few others to see what effect you end up creating. But as you can see, you can see the dress behind and beneath the texture while the pattern is still there. And there we go guys, if this video helped you out, make sure to give it a like and also subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. You can find my latest two minute tutorials just here and my latest videos just down here. But until next time guys, keep creating.